We're here to show today how easy it is to install a zero energy puffer pump. The pump kit comes with everything you need to connect to your pipework and start pumping water. The only other things you will need for installation is PTFE tape, a pipe wrench and an air pump with a pressure gauge. If you followed your pipe installation instructions, the pipe coming into the chamber should be at least 150mm off the ground. The supply pipe will need to be threaded, but you can buy steel pipe pre-threaded. First, apply some PTFE tape to the thread, winding in a clockwise motion. Now, I would put at least four to five rounds on, possibly more. Just screw on the stop valve until it goes hand tight. That's quite tight there. Grab your pipe wrench and you'll need to do them up several turns. From here, we need to open him up and flush through the tank a couple of times. I've just emptied it out several times to flush for any debris in air, and from here we'll be good to fit the pump. Sometimes the adapter is attached to the front of the pump already. Just remove it and apply some PTFE tape. Again, using enough tape to ensure we make the seal. Again, screw them in hand tight. Once you're hand tight, Grab your C-spanner, which comes in your kit, and turn him on a couple more times. Again, ensuring that you make the seal. Before we fit the pump, just double check inside the coupling here that the O-ring is securely in place. This will complete our seal when we fit the pump, which we just screw straight on and you can see now why we had the 150mm rise on the pipe from the bottom of the tank. Just to make it easy to turn the pump body on. You will feel him go tight, hand tight, just turn him until you can face him upright without too much difficulty. And there we have it. Before fitting the delivery hose, take off the tape we need to just check that the valve rubbers on the delivery end are in the correct order. And the first rubber in against the seat should be this way round. We now alternate their positions. So, like so, and again, we alternate the position, and now we're ready to fit the delivery hose. In order to fit the delivery hose, we'll take off the coupling closest to the T. Now we can easily turn on the rest of the T to the pump. Just turn him until he's hand tight and then finishing off with the C spanner. From here we want to position the T so that he's facing upwards so we can easily fit the pressure vessel. At this point, it's a good idea to support the pump. A suitable size bit of wood or concrete block is fine, but you need to easily be able to remove it so that you can service the pump efficiently. To finish off, tape up the delivery pipe If we undo 
the coupling slightly, it'll go together easier and we'll be able to tighten them on without turning the whole pipe. We'll finish off a final tighten with a pair of grips. Not too much, just to make sure it's nice and tight. And then we'll do up the rest of the coupling so that we're not turning the pipe. So we're going to continue fitting the delivery hose. There's no need for tape here. And so there's a seal in the join. And again, we're just going to do them up hand tight. There's no need to use grips on this. Now we need to attach the pressure vessel. Um, first we'll need to prime it. In order to prime it, we will calculate the height we're pumping our water to, which is at this place here, is 50 meters. Now at 50 meters, that will equate to around about five bar. But for our air pressure, we reduce that by half a bar. So I'll be priming this tank to four and a half bar for this setup. If you have a particularly high delivery head, you may need to contact us for more advice. Just unscrew the cap, attach your pump, and make sure you can hit the pressure you need to hit, which in this instance is four and a half bar. Screw the cap back on. Fit the exhaust extension to the exhaust port, and it just pushes it. Fit the pressure vessel, we're going to attach it to the T connector and screw him on until tight. If it doesn't need any tape, it will go straight on. And now we're ready to start the pump. Our pressure vessel is primed, we've got water in the system, and all we're going to do is open him up. And you should see him start straight away. What you should hear is a nice even beat. No double beating, no misfiring. Just underneath the exhaust extension here, you have directions for the opening and shut. Now, if we turn it clockwise, we'll open up the valve towards the plus sign to fully open. Minus, obviously, to the closed sign. If we now open him up, you will hear the beat deepen and become slower. And essentially we're becoming slightly more efficient and we're pumping more water. We can lock this off using the ring to keep our position. Once the pump has been pressurised, at no point should you ever just take this pressure vessel off without first releasing the pressure. And we'll do this by turning them twice. You can already see the air coming out. And now we're just going to leave him. Safely done. a working pump and our pressurised water is being delivered to our tank up the hill. We're good to go 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The only thing you may need to do from time to time is check that your filters are clear so that you're drawing through enough water and then potentially in a couple of years time you may need to change the rubber seal inside the pump.